Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, the next 45 minutes with me. My name is Mindy. I'll be leading you through some um, slow flow and mindful movement uh, today. And uh, we'll be focusing on uh, strengthening our hips and our core. Uh, it's not going to be too intense. It'll still be a slow flow, but I just wanted to focus a little bit on that part of our anatomy. So uh, whenever you're ready, if you'll come into a comfortable seated position, uh, I'm seated on this bolster right here. Feel free to find a pillow, um, stack some blankets, uh, anything else that might work for you. You can also sit on a chair. Uh, if that's more comfortable for you. So whatever that comfortable seated position looks like. Uh, and before we go through this, um, wherever you are practicing, if it's in the comfort of your home, uh, or well, I guess the comfort of someone else's home, uh, <laughs> um, the same kind of uh, thoughts apply in terms of following along with the flow. But at any point, if you feel like you need a break, uh, feel free to pause. This is the wonder of the video. You can pause and come back to it later. Um, or you can decide that this isn't for you and uh, you can you can try some of the other videos that we have available. Yeah. So coming into your comfortable seated position, you can kind of wiggle around a little bit um, to find your spot wherever that is and then nestle into that. And then wherever you are, uh, let's start out with some movement of the neck just to get uh, some blood flowing. When you're ready, exhale and let your left ear fall towards your left shoulder. And then inhaling back to center, exhale, right ear will fall towards the right shoulder. Inhaling back to center, Exhale, go ahead and let your chin fall in towards the front side of your body, looking down into your lap. Inhaling back to center and then exhale, letting your head fall back. And you can look up to where the wall and the ceiling meet. Uh, and if you're comfortable doing so, you can let your head fall a little further back where you're looking up at the ceiling. Feeling a little bit of stretch in that throat. You know, open and close your mouth. Move your jaw side to side. Just feel that stretch. And then inhaling back to center. Pretty good. So from here, you can either keep a soft gaze, uh, basically not focusing on anything, but kind of that fuzzy feeling like when you're daydreaming. Uh, or you can close your eyes. Um, actually, let's take that back. If you close your eyes, go ahead and open them again. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of an experiment in terms of uh, experiencing the sensory inputs that we have around us. Um, so real quick, just take a look around our environment right now, uh, taking note of what you see. Uh, plants, furry animals, family members, loved ones, uh, books, toys, a speck of dust, whatever that is. And then tuning in to what you might hear around you. Uh, distant sound of traffic, uh, conversations, the humming of vacuum cleaner. And then taking note of what you smell. Hmm. And then taking note of what you feel. Uh, if you're feeling the chair beneath you, uh, feeling the way your clothes are against your skin, maybe if you're seated by a vent, the hot or cold air that's uh, brushing against your skin. And then when you're ready, we'll close our eyes again, uh, if you're comfortable doing so. And now with that sense of sight, uh, kind of put on pause for a little bit. Let's shift our attention to our sense of sound once again, listening to your environment. And so you may hear a cacophony of different sounds mixed in together, but see if you can identify what those different things are. Is it a ticking of a clock? 
Um, if it's a distant conversation that you hear, do you recognize the voice? Can you identify if that's one of your children, your neighbor, your significant other, or the TV? And then through, as you work your way through all of those sounds, attempting to identify the sound of your breathing. Do you hear the rush of air as you inhale? And do you hear that rush of air as you exhale? And then shifting your attention to your sense of smell. What do you smell this time around? Is it a mixture of things? Are you able to identify the smell of what you heated up in the microwave for lunch? Are you able to smell the distant perfume or soap of your significant other? or your dog's shampoo, or your favorite candy wrapper that you may have left on the table somewhere. And then feeling, moving to your sense of touch and feel, how do your clothes feel against your skin? If you're seated on the floor in the chair, how does that object feel? against your bones and the different pressure points that it's pushing at. How does it feel if you have the sensation of your hair kind of brushing against your skin or your ears? And then lastly, moving to your sense of taste. Have you just brushed your teeth? Does it taste minty or cinnamony, depending on the toothpaste you use? Do you taste what you had for lunch or for your tea time or break time? Or the gum that you just chewed? How does your mouth feel right now? Is it dry? Is your tongue tense? I don't know, just asking questions. So returning your focus to your breath, we're going to take three deep breaths here. So inhale and fill air into every cubic inch of those lungs. And then exhale, release every bit of air. When you feel like there's no more air left, squeeze some more and see if some come out. And don't worry, as soon as you're ready, you'll inhale again. And fill those lungs and exhale. <sighs> Push all of that out, releasing everything that doesn't serve you. Push until you can't anymore and then inhale. Mm, exhale. You guys did great. So at this point, before you open your eyes, if you'd like to set an intention uh, for something you'd like to experience or feel uh, or do in the next few minutes, feel free to do that. And if you don't have an intention, that's fine too. We'll explore and see if something comes up. And then gently opening your eyes, looking towards the front when you're ready, okay? If you're seated on a block or a bolster or something that's elevating you, um, you can stay on it, but if you'd like to, you can kind of push it out of the way. We're just gonna do a little bit of movement here. Inhaling both arms up. Exhale, bending over to your left. And then inhale back to center. Exhale over to your right. And then following your own rhythm of breath, kind of move through that, returning to center on inhales and then bending over on exhales. So there's no specific speed that you need to go that. 
whatever you're doing right now is perfect. That's exactly what um, you need to be doing right now. And so whenever you make your way back over to the left, we're going to hang out here for a bit. So you're welcome to stay up on uh, your left palm, or you can come down into your left forearm, uh, reaching those right fingertips over to that left wall. You can kind of wiggle your fingers a little bit, do some magic fingers. Um, and you can turn and look at the ceiling if your neck allows for that. Otherwise, look wherever it feels comfortable, down or uh, straight in front of you. So trying to take some deep breaths here and thinking about sending that breath to this right side body. Uh, we know it doesn't go there. We know it goes in the lungs. But just thinking intentionally about that part of your body and feeling the um, stretch that you might be experiencing right now. Okay, inhaling back to center and then exhale over to the right this time. And again, we're going to hang out here. So options for you to stay up on your palm or coming down to that right forearm and then wiggling the fingers of your uh, left hand, actively reaching over. And again, option to look wherever is comfortable for you. Um, just try to keep that left sitting bone kind of anchored to the ground. If you find yourself doing this floating thing, uh, see if you can kind of shift and put some weight anchoring down through that left sitting bone. So a deep breath here. Excellent. Inhale, coming back to center. Then exhale, we're going to twist over to your left. So when you're ready, twisting over to your left, right hand's going to catch the outside of that left knee and left hand can come behind you. Uh, an option to look behind you or in front of you. We won't stay here very long, uh, just to take one deep breath here. And then inhaling back to center. Exhale, twisting over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twisting over to the left one more time. And then inhale, center. Exhale, over to the right. Perfect. All right. From here, we're going to release and come into a tabletop position. So coming onto your hands and knees, you're going to look like a table. So knees are about hip distance apart um, step when you're up below your hips, if possible, and then hands will be below your shoulders. So from here, we'll just do uh, a little bit of a cat-cow spine. So on an inhale, you're going to let your belly drop and accentuate the curve in the low of your back, and you're going to look forward, whatever is in front of you. Exhale into cat, rounding that back, pushing into the ground with your hands, and you're going to look down directly below your nose or below your belly button. Inhaling into cow, pushing those sitting bones back towards that whatever is behind you, and then exhaling into cat. Last time here, inhaling into your cow, and then exhale, cat. Okay. From here, returning back to your tabletop position with a flat back. Move that out of the way. Um, and we'll do a little bit um, of a modified side plank flow. So right now where you are, um, go ahead and move your left, yep, left foot off of the mat, and then you're going to turn to face the front and extend that right leg out towards the side. So this is what you're going to essentially look like. Now you have the option to inhale and bring that right hand all the way up to the sky if that's what you like to do. Otherwise, you can keep it down on your hip. So we're going to continue to stretch out this right side body, uh, essentially from under your armpit all the way down to eh, maybe right above your knee. Option to stay here, but if you like to do a little bit of a flow, you can inhale, flex your foot, and bring that right leg up hip height. 
and then exhale, bringing it back down. One more time, inhale, bringing that right foot up hip height, exhale, back down. And then three rounds of that at your own pace, bringing your leg up on an inhale, and then returning that foot back down on an exhale, So when you're ready, we'll turn and bring that right hand back to the ground, bring that right knee back to the ground. And then we're gonna push into a child's pose. So reaching your sitting bones back towards your heels as you fold forward. Um, option to rest your forehead on whatever you like. Um, you can roll up a blanket, use a block or uh, a bolster. And you can reach forward with your hands or reach back up to you. So option to kind of do circles with your wrists and give it a little bit of a break. Okay, when you're ready, inhaling back up to that tabletop position and we'll work on the other side. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what's happening. So from here, we're gonna work on that modified uh, plank position once more. So this time we're gonna turn lift and move that right foot off of the mat and then turning this way and extending your right leg out. And then again, option to bring uh, right hand to your left hand, to your left hip or extending that left hand all the way up. Option to stay here once again, or you can flow with me. So inhaling, flex that foot, Left foot comes up, hip height, exhale, lower, inhale, up, exhale, lower, and then three more rounds of that at your own pace. Excellent. Okay. From here, coming back into your tabletop position, I will push back into a child's pose very briefly here, just so you can um, stretch out those wrists. And you can do a little wiggle too, if that feels good for you. Okay. Pushing up to your tabletop position once more. Um, we're getting ready to move into a down dog position. <clears throat> so shifting your weight into your fingertips, kind of push down to the ground until you see the tips of your fingers under your nails kind of turn a little white. Curling your toes under, and then whenever you're ready, you're going to push back and up, finding this upside down V. Uh, walking your dog when you get up to what looks like a V, and so you can just pedal your feet. Uh, take deep bend in the knees. You can also kind of walk out side to side. Whatever movement feels comfortable for you. And then eventually you'll find some stillness in your down dog. So don't worry about pushing those heels into the ground. It's the first one with me tonight. Well, uh, being gentle with your body, you can take a bend in the knees for now. And then looking down to where um, directly below your belly button if possible. Again, option to do puppy um, if you would like and you don't want to do down dog. Puppy is down on your knees and you're folding forward. Similar, similar to child's pose. Okay, so if you're hanging out in down dog, um, looking up between your thumbs, let's start to tiptoe towards those thumbs and taking little steps. And from here, inhaling to a flat back, so bringing your hands to your shins uh, or the thighs on the ground, just trying to avoid pushing on the knees. <clears throat> Sitting bones pointing back behind you. And if you would, please just kind of roll your shoulders back and have your shoulder blades kind of meet in the middle of your back, looking down directly below your nose. Excellent. 
Okay. From here on an exhale, go ahead and just release. We'll do a little bit of a forward fold here, letting your arms kind of dangle. You can kind of run your the back of your hands along your mat. And nod your head yes and shake your head no if you like. All right, inhaling to that flat back once more. And then when you're ready with a soft bend in the knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time or engaging that core and coming up with a flat back. So whatever works for you. Okay, welcome to standing poses. So we'll come towards uh, the top of your mat. And then you're going to find your Tadasana or your mountain pose. So kind of finding the four corners of your feet, the outside of your big toe, uh, your little toe, and then the left and right side of your heel. So feet will bow, hip distance apart. That feels good for you. Actively standing into the ground and claiming the space for you. Just a little bit of tightness and engagement in the core. And then hands out by your sides, palms facing up or out in front of you. And if it feels good to roll your shoulders, you can do that. If it feels good to inhale your shoulders all the way up to your ears and exhale, drop, you can do that too. So whichever one works better for you. We'll work through a little bit of a flow with standing poses now. So when you're ready, inhaling both arms up. Exhale, you're gonna sit into chair. So different options here. Um, you can do it with your feet together and kind of pushing in and zipping up through the inside of your legs. You can do it with your feet apart. That's cool too. Or you can do it with a block um, or a book, anything really, just to kind of help um, with the pressure and pu pushing your thighs together to help you stay up. Yeah. Okay. So you're in your chair, sitting in that chair. Exhale, you're going to fold forward. Inhaling to a flat back. All right, now when you're ready, you're gonna step the right foot back. And you're gonna line up the outside of your right foot with the uh, back of your mat. We're getting ready to come into warrior two. So keeping a deep bend in that left knee. Uh, if you have a flare for the dramatic, you're welcome to windmill your arms up. And you're gonna find your warrior two here. So left hand reaching in front of you, forward over your left knee, right hand's reaching behind you. Excellent. Okay, from here we'll find an extended side angle. So you're gonna bend that left elbow, bring it to the top of your, top of your left thigh, and then bringing that right hand up and over you. And you can reach up towards the ceiling or reach all the way forward over your head towards that wall um, that you were facing before. So on your left side. Inhaling back up, finding your warrior two. Okay, coming into reverse warrior now. So you're gonna drop that right hand, flip the left palm up. You can reach forward just a tad, just to get you going, and then up and back. Inhaling back up to that warrior two position. We'll just do that one more time. Move through the three cycle or three pose cycle. So exhale, extend at side angle. Left arm comes to the left thigh, right arm comes up and it can come over if that feels good. Inhaling warrior two. Exhale, dropping that back arm, flipping the front palm up and over towards the back. Inhale, warrior two. 
and then exhale again if you want to be dramatic when reeling the arms forward to frame that left foot and then we're going to come into a plank position so you're welcome to drop to your knees with me into a modified plank and then exhale you're going to bend with the elbows pointing towards the back down to the ground and then option to move into a back bend of your choice so i'm going to start out with cobra right here um, so trying to find this 90 degree angle uh, your elbow and then pushing into the ground uh, with your fingertips with your palms elbows and then the tops of your feet all right and then curling your toes under exhale you're going to start to push and make your way into a down dog position looking up between your thumbs walking floating or whatever it is you do to get your feet up towards your hands inhaling to a flat back exhale fold forward slight bend in the knees will inhale and come up and then somewhere halfway through you're going to exhale and sit into your chair you guys look great i can't see you but i feel like you look great so inhale reach all the way up palms can touch at the very top exhale hands to heart center and we'll just run through that one more time okay inhaling both arms up exhale sitting into chair option to take any type of chair you'd like to do right so you can do the arms up you can do this goddess or cactus or goal post arms or you can do the ski variation reaching back so up to you whatever works for you just trying to avoid this collapse yeah heart shining forward okay exhale folding forward into a forward fold Inhaling to a flat back. Exhale, fold. And then this time you're going to step the left foot back, lining up the outside of the left foot with the back of your mat. Deep bend in the right knee. And then when you're ready, finding warrior two on this side. Okay. So actively reaching with the fingertips, trying to center yourself and um, avoid overly leaning one way or the other. Extend the side angle on this side. So bending the right elbow, right hand to right thigh. This time left hand comes up or over. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Left palm falls, right palm flips up, over, and back. Inhale, warrior two. Just one more round of that. Exhale, extend at side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Okay, we're milling the arms down. You're going to find your plank on this side. Again, option to drop two knees. Um, for a modified plank, or if you're keeping them up, keeping your knees up, just coming forward and your toes a little bit. Exhale, chaturanga and lower. And then inhale, finding your back bend. So 
I realized I called this Cobra earlier. Um, this is Sphinx. So you're welcome to stay in Sphinx with me right here. Um, or you can push all the way up into Cobra, pushing into your palms. Just trying to have your shoulders melt away from your ears if possible. So you don't have this crunchy thing going on because that doesn't feel good. Yeah, it isn't for me anyways. So listen to your body and do whatever it, uh, it says feels, feels good for you. All right, moving into your down dog, curling your toes under. Exhale, you're gonna push back and up. Finding your upside down V. Looking up between your hands and then moving your feet to meet them. Inhaling to a flat back once more. Exhale, forward fold. Slide bend the knees. We're gonna inhale all the way up. Again, right about here, you're gonna take your exhale and sit into your chair, please. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Palms can touch at the very top. And exhale, hands to heart center. You guys did fantastic. Okay, so if you like to do uh, this long ways, you can. But basically, we're gonna take a wide-legged um, stance here and uh, toes pointing forward and then hinging from the hips. When you're ready, exhale, you're just gonna <clears throat> uh, fold forward. Okay, so we're gonna work on uh, the side lunge. So you're gonna bend your left knee and then, ex ooh, did you guys hear that? My knee popped. Um, and then your right foot is gonna try and point those toes up towards the sky if that works. So. Um, if you did this with me on Sunday, some people call this the runner's lunge, um, the ninja lunge, or the Spider-Man lunge, depending on how cool you are. And then inhale back to center. We're going to move over to the other side. So exhale, you're going to bend the right knee this time. Left toes pointing up. Okay. Inhaling back to center and just let your head hang for a little bit if that feels good. Uh, if you feel nauseated at any time, feel free to come out of it and take a seat whenever, um, whenever you're ready. Okay, so you can just bend at the knees. Um, let's all come into a child's pose just to kind of reset and get reacquainted with the floor and the ground. So reaching the sitting bones back once more and folding forward. All right, inhaling here, you're gonna find a comfortable seat. Well, you're just gonna come to a seat. I can't guarantee you'll be comfortable. So your feet are gonna be flat on the ground. You're gonna have this bend with your knees kind of pointing up. Um, we're gonna work our way through boat pose, depending on um, where you wanna start out and end. So to start out here, um, if you would, Kind of hold on to the back of your thighs and you just kind of uh, slide your fingers under your knees here. So sitting up tall, trying to keep that straight back on an exhale, you're just going to start leaning back. And as you do that, you should start to feel a little bit of sensation in your belly and your core, just kind of tightening up like, whoa, you're about to fall back. And that's good because you're in control. Your body is doing exactly what it needs to do. And then inhale, coming back up. Okay, so option to keep doing that, leaning back at whatever um, angle feels good for you. Now, if you would like to let go of your legs, you can stick your hands out in front of you. And then same thing here, keeping the spine long. Exhale, start to lean back. So finding that spot like whoa, when you feel this start to tighten. 
And inhale back up. If you find yourself shaking, that's okay. That's just your muscle trying to help you out and compensate and do what it needs to do. All right. So option to keep leaning back that way, or you can start doing a one, one leg lift, right? So let's say for instance, I'm gonna lift my left leg, right? So from here, I'm just gonna lean back to where I feel a little bit of tension and then inhale, pointing that left foot out. Okay, inhaling back up, rebending that knee. So you're welcome to try the other side now and extend out your right leg. Or um, if you already have a six pack and this is really easy for you, uh, you can stick both of your legs up in the air and find your full boat pose, yeah? So from here, leaning back, option to kind of bring your arms out to the side if that feels better for you. And then lifting one leg, lifting the other, and finding your boat. Last deep breath here. And inhaling back to center. That was pretty intense for our back. So from here, let's go ahead and um, recline and lay back down. Knees will stay pointing up, feet will be on the ground. Uh, let's go ahead and step our feet out about hip distance apart. And then when you're ready on an exhale, let's let both knees fall over to the right. You can have your hands down by your sides, palms facing up. Inhale center, exhale over to the left. Inhale center, exhale right. So again, following your own pace um, and rhythm of breath, just kind of move through that, inhaling through center and exhaling over to the side. All right, the next time your knees are up, we'll just scoot our feet closer in together. Um, they don't have to be touching, but not as wide as, or not outside of your hips, okay? And then when you're ready, we'll do a figure four uh, type of twist. So I'll lay this way so you can see what I'm talking about. The way some of us like to sit in a chair, you'll just bring your uh, left foot, left leg up, and then rest your left ankle on top of your right thigh. And then when you're ready, you will uh, let your left foot <laughs> fall over to your right. And then option to look over at your left thumb. You'll inhale back to center here. And then you'll go ahead and switch legs. So this time your right ankle is gonna rest on top of your left knee. And then your right foot is going to come to the ground as you twist here. And you can turn and look at the right thumb. Inhaling back to center here. And then on an exhale, just bringing that foot back down towards the ground. And then when you're ready, let's all hug our knees in um, as close as we can. Try and keep our upper body on the ground. So if you find yourself straining this way, um, try to keep that upper body down and then you can hold on to uh, the back of your thighs or your knees. 
but you're welcome to kind of rock gently from side to side, kind of feel that pressure in your low back. Uh, if that doesn't hurt for you, giving yourself a couple of little squeezes. Give me a silent thank you to your physical body that enables you to go through all of these movements, not only in yoga, but in your daily lives. And then eventually you're happy to move into happy baby. So letting your um, knees kind of fall in towards your armpits. And then you're reaching in between your legs, grabbing your toes. Um, or you can hold on to the outside bottoms of your feet. Or you can hold on to the back of your thighs, up to you. And again, option two, rock, if that feels good for you. Okay, it is that time. So we're coming into our final resting pose uh, for this session. We call it Shavasana. So you're welcome to kind of wriggle a little bit to find a comfortable position lying down. Uh, if you're lying on your back, you can uh, kind of point your hands out and then stretch in between your shoulder blades to have that kind of reach the ground. You can also do a self hug to kind of move your shoulder blades apart and then resting down, hands down by your sides. Uh, you're welcome to lay on your belly as well if that feels good, or you can roll up a blanket or grab some pillows uh, to support the back of your knees, maybe raise your legs up a little bit. You're also welcome to lay down on a couch um, or a bed if that's more comfortable for you. So as you lay here, thinking about Gently closing your eyes and then doing a quick scan of your physical body. So beginning with the top of your head, see if you can feel your hair. Think about that crease that you sometimes get in the middle of your forehead when you're deep in thought. Then imagine that kind of smoothing out. Feel your cheekbones, release any tension they may be holding. If you find yourself clenching your jaw, see if you can let your mouth kind of fall open a little bit and provide some space. Feeling your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And if it feels good to yawn, you can do that. Feeling your shoulders move further away from your ears, your shoulder blades gently supported by the ground beneath you and feeling the opening in your front side body, the rise and fall of your chest and of your belly. If you're laying on your back, Feeling the ground support the middle of your back, the top of your back, and your sacrum, that low back. If you find yourself holding tension in your heart and in your belly, see if you can release some of that as you exhale. Imagine with each, with each exhale that you're letting it go, even if it's just for the next few minutes. And then if you're holding any tension in your thighs, in your kneecaps, in your calf muscles, 
Try to imagine some of that melting away into the ground, just like butter flowing away from you. And any other tightness you may be feeling or negativity that you may be feeling, imagine that weaving out through the soles of your feet, out of your toes. And just for five more seconds, appreciate the being that you are, and how wonderful you are. When you're ready, you'll gently open your eyes. You're welcome to lay there as long as you want or sit there for as long as you want. Um, but I just want to say thank you for inviting me into your home and spending the last 45 minutes with me. I am very honored and grateful for you. The light in me respects and honors the light in each and every one of you. Thank you and good night.